Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome to another video log. Today I've been <laughs> wasting my evening uh, testing some uh, wireless uh, keyboards and mouse, specifically this uh, Fusion 5 keyboard and mouse with uh, dongles, which I have like a whole bunch of them. I got it from the auction of the stuff that I bought of Artica a few months ago. I, I can't have like seven keyboards or something like that and at least a dozen mouse or, or close to a dozen but I don't have enough dongles and today I was testing all of the keyboards five of them work properly and uh, one of the dongles is keyboardless so I have two orphan uh, keyboards whose dongle doesn't match so I was searching the internet for how to reprogram this dongle to make it work on a new keyboard uh, couldn't quite figure it out. Um, there's no information. Fusion. There's no much information about Fusion Five wireless keyboard combos at all. They're not very popular. Um, uh, one of the good things that I did manage to figure out was that uh, the mouse works on any dongle. So all of the mouse work on whatever dongle you want uh, of these. Uh, it just detects the first one that connects. Unfortunately, the keyboards seem to be mapped directly to just one uh, keyboard. Um, this reminds me of some old stuff where we try to recover um, Logitech thing, and Logitech seems to have taken attention to those things and made like a unified USB dongle thingy that where you can connect multiple devices and remap. Uh, your old devices. So if you lose the dongle, you can still reuse your hardware, um, which is really cool. And a lot of people started using Logitech. So nowadays, if you search for, you know, any other random company, wireless keyboard reuse, you just find shit ton of Logitech uh, videos saying that how Logitech is great and how you can, do it. well, yeah, but I don't have a Logitech wireless keyboard. I have a bunch of Fusion 5s, which there is no info on. I found a random lost dongle from Microsoft, and I will tell you what Microsoft does. Uh, and I found a lost USB dongle from Asus. The Asus is pretty generic USB. You can just connect it to a computer and works as a USB dongle thingy. You can connect whatever USB things you have. Uh, the Microsoft one came from keyboard uh, or mouse combo. I, I think it was a combo, but it might have been just one of the devices which comes factory defined for the specific keyboard. So if you lose this, your keyboard is useless. And if you have this, you can't reprogram this to work on any other keyboard. So this little thing from Microsoft is pretty much useless. It says here that it's a uh, model 1496 uh, R01 what am I saying? R20112.5617. This is what I search. Actually, I found a few people trying to sell this on eBay, but I, I don't know who would buy. There weren't that many, and they were all in the past, so I don't know what the hell happened to them. But at some point, someone sold these, which is weird because there was like no information on how you can reuse them uh, in any way. If anyone knows any about this Microsoft shit, uh, let me know but as far as I know this is like electronic waste that I can just throw away um, the Asus Bluetooth is probably useful though I have to check with Christina if she I know she has some Bluetooth stuff don't know if she needs an extra dongle if she does it's for her if she doesn't it's up for sale uh, the keyboards of Fusion 5 though I'm, I'm a bit lost I mean five of them work with a keyboard now I have two keyboards which don't know how to pair and I have one dongle which doesn't have any assigned keyboard I tested with all of the keyboards none of them worked uh, with this one so don't know I have to keep searching I guess I do have the vendor ID and the model ID so I know it was made by shit I don't have the Mosfer Moster I don't have it open anymore I don't remember I did write it down at a place which I will look up while I'm filming so that I can include the info in the video. Internet loading. Uh, device ID 4101 produced by Mozart with an S. Mozart. 
uh, semiconductors based out of Taiwan apparently so yeah I have to search up a little bit more if there's anything I can do with this Mozart things to make them reconnect with the dongle at least save one of the uh, keyboards with this uh, at least they work with the mouse so I can I can sell the mice with this if it works I hope person will just buy the whole bundle and I don't have to worry about that because it's a bit of a waste of my time to be testing all this that's what I've been doing with the, with this evening what about you did you have a better more fun evening than I did searching some random uh, wireless USB dongle shenanigans hope so Anyways, that's all I have for this video today. See you next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Hope you have a great remaining of week.